before I start this update video, let me just say that this video, like all our other videos, are sponsored by GreenManGaming.com. You can head down to the link in the description below. They're a, they're a key seller, not a key reseller like G2A. So this is an official, actual retailer outlet that is not a third-party reseller like G2A. So it's perfectly legal and above the board, and you get great prices on video games. Head down to the description below. It's one of the many links that are down there. Hey guys, it's Hunter. This is what, gonna be one of those videos where I talk about stuff happening with Headhunter Productions. So if you don't like videos where I talk about stuff going on with Headhunter Productions, th that's okay. You don't need to watch this video. For those of you who do appreciate these, uh, these videos, uh, feel free to minimize this video and just listen to it in the background, because you're not going to see anything other than our Head Under Productions logo and a bunch of snow. So, there's a bunch of stuff happening with Head Under Productions, but I guess there's probably one question on everybody's mind. Hunter, where you been since Oktoberfest? We thought you died again. Well, for a week, I felt like I was dead. I was sick for a whole goddamn week, guys. Like, it was apparently just one, like, about the week after October that everyone in on the fucking planet basically decided to get sick and it's not just me it was a lot of people got sick you you probably know of a couple people who also caught the bug going around i think it was just that it was a bug going around i caught it our anime night co-host caught it one of my counselors caught it one of the people on our writing team caught it a, bu a bunch of people in the op squad caught it a lot of people caught this bug that was going around. Oh, it was bad. And then another thing that happened is just this past week, I had people over for Thanksgiving. Relatives from out of town, way up north, in the la in the faraway land known as Massachusetts. It's a cold place. I've been there a number of times. I have to go up later in February for a wedding. Um, so yeah. Things have been busy, and obviously, the few days after Oktoberfest, like, just the spark was gone. I had no inspiration. I didn't want to do anything. I was exhausted after Oktoberfest. There was a 12-hour-long stream on Halloween. We, we revived It Sucks, But I Still Played It. There was the Hunter Reviews episode, which was very well received, but unfortunately we made no ad revenue off of that because jackasses in the industry. Okay, we fought for uh, fair use uh, last year, and I figured we were done with that, but apparently now uh, videos aren't being monetized uh, when they're under review for a whole month right after they go up, which is th th stupid. And obviously we released Pony Shenanigans 3, which actually kind of balanced it out because we did make ad revenue off of that. Yeah, <laughs> surprising. I think we broke this system because there were too many copyrighted things going on in that video. Too many sources for it to go to and it actually broke the system. And Jim Sterling, another channel that you guys should follow if you want to keep up with news uh, within the gaming community. Jim Sterling did a video on breaking that system a very long time ago. And if that system's still broken, that's surprising. Either way, there is not a single claim on that video and we actually got it up on EQD. Not to mention we have the countless things going up on our gaming channel every week. We do like at least four videos a week on our gaming channel. Sometimes three, but that's if, like, again, the inspiration just isn't there. There's, we have a very active gaming channel. Link is down below in the description. What do you think that second YouTube channel is right there in our logo? HP Gaming. Hello. Yes, Head Hunter Productions has a gaming channel. We've had a gaming channel for four years now. A lot of people don't seem to realize, though. Or that's just not what people are here for. We did a poll recently. A lot of you are here for Hunter Reviews. 
Not so much for Matt's mind. A, a number of you are here for both, though. So, with that, all that, out of the way, there's a lot to talk about. We're, I'm going to start out with the immediate future, as in what's going to happen uh, like within the next week or so. Uh, what's going to happen uh, towards the end of the year. And then the far future, which is what we're planning for 2017. So, in the, in the immediate future, we have our annual Happy Holidays video, which is already rendered. It is complete. It is set to go up tomorrow. There's... Uh, also, a couple of other things that we're working on, like, immediately in the immediate future. Uh, we have been working on a Howard's Mind episode, episode 3. Um, so that, look, be on the lookout for uh, more news pertaining to that. However, if those of you who, are, who have, who have uh, donated, to, do, blah, blah, donated to us via our Patreon, uh, you guys would have access to... Uh, a rather decent length preview for the next episode, as well as a couple of other things, uh, schedules, uh, and actually, uh, for those of you who keep requesting for us to review movies, uh, if you guys were subscribed to us on Patreon, or donating to us via Patreon, uh, you would have seen that, um, you would have seen our, uh, review schedule. Which, yes, that's a thing. It's not so much a schedule either. It's just a list of movies that we are uh, basically destined to hit within uh, Hunter Reviews Season 2 or maybe 3. There's the uh, underlining uh, plot of the show that we slowly unveil for you guys. And uh, before you guys ask, yes, there is a show bible for Hunter Reviews. <laughs> And that's another thing we're working on in the immediate future is the Hunter Reviews Christmas Special. We got something very special planned for you this year. And it's actually something that you guys have requested. And it's not really Christmassy themed, but there's snow in it. So, so screw it. We're, we're going to count that as a yes, that's a Christmas movie. So yeah, there is a list of movies that we're set to review. So now you can stop sending me messages. Woo, yay. <laughs> You're not going to stop, are you? Oh, no. <laughs> Recently, Matt's Mind finished up its run of season two. So uh, we're, we are gearing up for a season three, but not immediately. And when I say we, I mean myself. I'm just used to saying we. Because the writing team has moved on. Uh, recently, Fluttersky said he was moving on to university and he um, he wouldn't have time to do head of the productions anymore. We already lost one member, so we were down to two people to begin with. And uh, because of that, because of Fluttersky leaving, the other guy uh, decided that it was time to move on as well. So now it's just me. I'm taking up the torch and I'm going solo for a while. Um, I'm the boss of myself and I will be the only one actually writing the actual episodes for Matt's Mind Season 3 and possibly even more. Now, quick word about the future. There are two things for Matt's Mind planned in the immediate future. The first one is Matt's Mind HD. Now I've talked about this a number of times. It's a full remake of the first eight episodes of the series. It's a completely new script, completely new jokes, and just completely redone. Um, it's gonna follow the same basic flow and story points of the main uh, of the of the original series the original eight episodes but it's gonna be completely redone I'm also going out of my way to make sure we get this right when he goes to pick the specials we're gonna get the same specials we're gonna allocate the same skill points we're gonna use the same answers on the goat everything I'm writing all of this stuff down. I'm going for, through the first eight episodes, and oh my god. I cannot stand hearing my own voice on these old episodes. It's it's bad. I can see why Matt's mind hasn't taken off the way it should. And I'm hoping that with these that with the remake of these first eight episodes, 
we'll be able to actually bring some attention to the series. And, like, some proper attention. Because the way I see it, a lot of people just look at that first episode, scoff at it, and then just move on. You know what? For me, that's just no good. Matt's Mind is seven years old now. It's one of the longest-running Mind series out there. And it's one of the last surviving Mind series out there. The whole Mind series genre basically died off years ago. And we've been keeping it alive, barely. There's a couple of others that are still hanging on, like Courier's Mind, and, uh... The, 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 one, the guy who's doing the Quake series, I forget the guy's name, but there is a Quake Mind series out there, and I think the latest episode that he did was earlier this year. And he's one of the last few guys that are still hanging on. So Matt's Mind HD is on the table. The second thing we're planning for Matt's Mind is Matt's Mind Season 2.5. Season 2.5 isn't canon to any of the actual Fallout games. We're, use, we're doing Season 2.5 to establish a number of things. The first one is why Matt ends up in New Vegas five years later. The second one is to set up a couple of plot points in Howard's mind. The third reason is to sort of fill in some story gaps. And the fifth reason, or the fourth reason, one of the reasons regardless, I forget which number we're at, one of the reasons regardless is we're, we're trying to establish this as a separate universe from the actual Fallout series. By all means, Matt's mind isn't canon, but, but to us, or to me anyway, Matt's mind is for every intents and purposes my life's work at this point. I refuse to give up on it. And at this point, the at this point, the series is a goddamn passion project, and I will not give up on it. This isn't going away. Yes, Hunter Reviews ended up being the massively more popular series, but I refuse to give up on it. Another thing that we're working on, which is Matt's mind related, and I'm gonna say what it is, because this one isn't a secret, but our 10,000 subscriber milestone video Finally, we're doing Matt and Mike Salad Days Part 2. For, for those of you who have been here a very long time, you may remember Salad Days Part 1, which was released at our 1,000 subscriber milestone. 9,000 subscribers later, we're finally doing another one. There's also a second 10,000 subscriber milestone video that we're working on, but I don't know if we're going to be able to make the deadline on that one. Because we just finished Oktoberfest recently, like a couple weeks ago. I have a trip up north to plan. There's a lot of stuff going on with Head Under Productions. Right now, I'm going to devote all my resources and time to one video so that we at least have that one and we can get that out when the 10,000 subscriber milestone is done. And then the other one can come out later, hopefully. It might be late, but hey, at least we'll have one when we hit that 10,000 subscriber mark. And I understand that the recent uh, productivity from Head of the Productions has been way, way down. We're sort of transitioning over to not having a writing team, being the op squad. We're transitioning over to that. We're trying a bunch of new things that are... Some of them are working out. Some of them aren't really working out, and we're still trying to iron out the details on everything that we're doing. That's why our recent videos have just been sort of filler, like our two best ever episodes, or the Down to Clown video, which... That's been sitting on my hard drive forever, and I just kind of wanted to put that out there. Because <laughs> it was kind of fun to do that video, even if it was very, 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 very short. There's also a couple of other things. For example, not just one... But two highlight reels from our live stream that we're working on. And uh, for those of you who don't tune into our live stream, you guys are gonna laugh your asses off with this. And you're probably gonna consider joining our live stream. For those of you who uh, do watch our live stream, you're gonna remember the, these moments. And you're gonna know exactly when we did them. They're they're, they're, they're gonna be great. 
There's also a couple of smaller reviews for Hunter Reviews that we're planning. For example, the Star Wars review. Yes, we're doing episode 8. Please stop sending me messages. Please. Please. <laughs> um, there's also a couple of other things that we're doing uh, for uh, Hunter Reviews. Small, small reviews. A couple of big reviews that we're planning. Um, I'm not going to say what they are. I like to keep those episodes a secret. But... Just, just take comfort in the fact that we are, in fact, working on Hunter Reviews and Matt's Mind. Speaking of Matt's Mind, one more thing that we're doing is the screw-ups video. The, basically, the blooper reel. Now, I saved a lot of bloopers from this season. Like, a lot of them. I mean, it's crazy how many that I managed to, scr to scrape together from, uh... Just by searching my three hard drives alone, I managed to find like 10 minutes worth of uh, blooper reels, and that should be out uh, with sometime within the next two weeks. I want to pull out my laptop and see if I could get any more off of that one, uh, see if there are any on that. Uh, besides, we used to record Matt's Mind on, the, on that old laptop anyway. I like looking back on the really old episodes of Matt's Mind that look like utter crap. All the textures are way, 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 way down. The view rendering distance is garbage. And just the frame rate at certain points is atrocious. <laughs> and then you look at the new episodes and you're like, wow, 1080p, 60 frames per second. We literally cannot make Matt's Mind look any better than it is. So we're now moving on to better writing. And that's what- and- and we-, we I, I keep striving to make Matt's Mind better and better and better, and I, every now and then I drive myself into a wall because the production value of it is through the goddamn roof and I can't go any further with it. With, which is one of the main problems with Howard's Mind, actually. Which is why there was a year-long gap between episodes one and two. And the way it's going at the moment, there might be another year-long gap. And I'm hoping this doesn't become the stereotype for Howard's Mind episodes, because if it is, we'll never finish it. I'll be doing it until I'm 86 years old, and I don't want to do it that long. Now, quick word about the gaming channel. Uh, if you guys uh, do follow us over on the gaming channel, we're going to finish up our two current play to wins like a rock raiders and red faction armageddon uh and then um with those two out of the way you guys voted for us to continue the lego dimensions ghostbusters campaign so we're gonna finish that up and then we're probably gonna wait a bit and then jump into this full subnautica playthrough because hopefully by then the game will be finished and we'll be able to jump straight into it and complete the whole darn and complete the whole darn campaign. Now, in terms of live streams, for the gaming stream, we're going to be doing the twelve heists of Payday, which we're basically just going to play Payday all December long. It's going to be fun. Uh, for Anime Night, nothing is going to change except the fact that we're really obsessed with Spice and Wolf. Hunter's Movie Night, on the other hand. I've come up with a rather interesting idea, which is Hunter's Vaguely Christmas Movies, which is movies that take place around Christmas, but the plot doesn't really focus on the fact that it's Christmas, and it's sort of just that Christmas is kind of in the background. These movies are a bit harder to find, but I do have a list of them which we'll be able to use. So yeah, Hunter's Vaguely Christmas Christmas movies, where, where for what one example of them is just Die Hard. It's just it's just Die Hard takes place around Christmas time, and there's Christmas trees every now and then. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna I, I, I'm gonna have fun with it. This is this is one of the reasons we did Snowpiercer was to kind of ease people in to the holidays with snow. Snowpiercer was a weird fucking movie. Now, real quick word about the Tumblr, I realize that it's been dead for a couple of months, and I apologize wholeheartedly for that. 
That was not my intention. I stopped doing it for Oktoberfest so that we could gear up for the Hunter costume, which still isn't done. We're waiting on the helmet. Uh, and then the game just stopped working for some reason. The game will not load, and I've been trying everything in my power to fix it. Hopefully, we'll be able to get it working for our December extravaganza, where we do three posts a week. It's hectic, and it's obnoxious. But don't worry, I have fun with it. I have fun with it every year. I have no intention of not having fun with it this year. Um, and then... There's a couple of other things going on. Uh, you can join our Discord if you want to keep up with all of this news, by the way. We, um, we, we have our Discord page. Um, tell you what, it's down in the description is the link for our Discord page. Also, our gaming channel is down there. Uh, and our Patreon. And now we have our coffee page. Because some of you have asked for um, one-time donation methods. And coffee is what we came up with. So that link is down in the description as well. Uh, if you guys want to donate, go ahead. Uh, if you don't, please stop sending me comments about how you can't donate. It doesn't help anyone, and I'm pretty sure we don't even get ad revenue off of your comments. Well, we might. I'm not entirely sure. It's like a couple, like pennies though. <laughs> it's all pennies. YouTube is like a mix between a dead-end job and an abusive relationship because YouTube has been putting up all of this bullshit the past year all their AIs that flag our videos all their bullshit new policy changes advertisers leaving and everything but at the same time, where can we go? There's nowhere we have but YouTube. And I'll be goddamned if I'm gonna give up on it. And before you guys ask, yes, the flag bots has affected our videos greatly. You know our streaming now videos? Those aren't advertiser friendly apparently. A number of our gaming channel videos get flagged as well. Like, for example, our Euro Truck Simulator videos. Literally videos of us driving a truck. What the hell is that crap? So, instead, we have a surefire way for, for us to get money and for you to get benefits at the same time, and that's our GreenManGaming.com sponsorship. The link, is, the link for that is down in the description as well. I'm also probably gonna put a vi put a thing at the beginning of this video stating how it's sponsored by GreenManGaming.com and you can go down there, you get great games at great prices, and if you do it through our referral link, we get a cut of the profits. It's wonderful. Those guys are f those guys are great. They send you the game code. They're not G2A. They're not like G2A. They're not a key reseller. They're an actual retailer like Steam or GOG or something like that. They just send you keys. So they're awesome, and we actually have a sponsorship with them, and we're gonna try and get, and we're gonna try and push that a little bit harder here on our main channel. So with that, that's a long overdue update for you guys. If you guys have any questions, post them down in the, post them down in the comment section below. I'll try to answer as many of them as I can, so by all means, comment away. Thanks for listening, guys, and I will no doubt see you very soon.